What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power of Play with CJ. I want to focus in on uh, Curtis Glencross, um, you know, in the Calgary Flames. The Flames are looking to move him. I don't think Glencross wants to get moved. I mean, for the first time in a long time, the Flames are you know, having a really good season. They're, you know, in playoff contention. I think, you know, if the Kings cool down, they've got a pretty good chance at making it. But, you know, at 32, you know, being part of a rebuilding team for the last, you know, four, five, six years, whatever it's been, I think the last time the Flames made the playoffs was 2009. It's kind of like, you know, to, to ask for a trade right here and now. Um, but I don't think that's the case. I think, um, you know, the Flames want to move him, which I still doesn't make sense. You have a veteran forward among young players, and, uh, you know, to um, keep him around, I think, would be beneficial. But, you know, this is just a weird situation. I mean, I think, you know, the, he's got a no-trade clause in his contract. So, you know, he's asked for a preferred list of teams. I mean, I'm assuming he'd, you know, ask for teams that are, you know, in contention, you know, give him a good chance of winning the Stanley Cup. I mean, you'd be foolish not to. You know how he played at University of Alaska Anchorage? I did not know that. That's interesting. Um, it's a guy that's had, you know, 26 goals in the past, and he's shown, you know, he can be a pretty decent goal scorer. Um, and, you know, he's just a good all-around hockey player. I mean, he, his last playoff game he played in was 2009. So it's it's been a minute or two. And, uh, you know, I think to be able to... Um, have the opportunity to return to the playoffs would be, you know, a great thing for him at age 32. You know, his best days are behind him, but you know he can still help a team that needs help on the in the left wing position. And uh, you know, the teams will come calling for him. I think if he's on the market, at least one or two teams will definitely be put a call. And by one or two, I mean you know Grand Portion of the league. You know, in the last year, he's going to draft free agent at the end of the year, and um, you know his cap hit isn't that bad, 2.5 million. Um, you know, and the Flames haven't gone to, you know, want to extend him, so that's, um, that's the way it goes. I mean, I'm assuming Calgary would like to move him to the Eastern Conference. Uh, you know, I think the Bruins could be a fit. The Bruins can help in the right wing, though. I, I know, I'm not trying to nitpick it, but that's that's the situation in Boston right now. Uh, but, you know, there's, you know, there's, there's going to be a market for him. You know, teams will need that one veteran forward that, you know, to help get over the hump. I think he can be that guy. And he can do some big things and, you know, help a contending team, you know, in the playoffs and, and you know, see what happens there. You know, you can't have enough veterans in your in your locker room, especially guys that have been there in the playoffs before. I think he's only got, I think he's only played six NHL playoff games. It's weird. He's on the Ducks for two games. Yeah, they won the Stanley Cup. Then he's up in uh, Columbus, so for what that's worth. And, he, again, he's a guy that really established himself once he got to Calgary and, uh, you know, became a bona fide NHL player. Anyway, that's like an episode of the Power Play with CJ on uh, Curtis Glencross possibly getting moved. See two more episodes for the season and beyond. Later, guys.